Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with my self-made wavetable board, which uses a PCB from Scrap Computing and uses a Raspberry Pi 02W, an LCD screen and a digital to analog converter module. In my last video, I tested this wavetable board on my ESS audio drive and it worked quite well. We could emulate General MIDI as well as MT32 in the game X-Wing. There were a few issues in the game The Secret of Monkey Island, but this is not why I created this wavetable expansion board. The reason why I created this is because I want to figure out what the deal is with a hanging note bug. And for that, we need the Sound Blaster 16. This card also appeared on my channel already, and you might see that the two voltage regulators here look different. But if you want to know more about this, then watch this video up here. So, what are we going to do today? We want to experience the hanging note bug. This card has the DSP, the Digital Signal Processor, version 4.12, which is suffering from the bug, so we should be able to trigger the hanging note bug with this card. But it only works if you have a MIDI device connected, like for instance this wavetable board. This wavetable board connects to this wavetable header and then it utilizes the MPU-401 device, which is part of the sound card. So let's start by getting a reference. And for that, I will go back to my ESS audio drive because this card doesn't suffer from the hanging note bug. Only creative cards with a specific DSP version are suffering from this bug. Okay, my wavetable daughter board is now on the ESS card. Let's try to play the game Hexen because this is apparently a game that can easily trigger the hanging notes. Okay, let's jump right into the game where you should immediately hear the hanging note bug. So I already prepared everything and you will see here the third file from the bottom, notebug.bat. So it just starts the game and it adds the warp02 parameter to the executable. Let's listen to the game on my ESS audio drive call. Greetings, mortal. Are you ready to die? And this is it. We don't need to listen to anything else. Just at this moment, you should already hear if your sound card is suffering from the hanging note bug. Since this is not a creative card, it doesn't exhibit this problem. But now let's switch over to my Sound Blaster 16 and run the game exactly the same way. And as you can see here, it definitely uses general MIDI as well. So the game is utilizing the MPU for one device that is part of the sound card. And this will be also the first time I'm trying my self-made DIY wavetable board on my Sound Blaster 16. Let's try it out. Hey, it boots up. Great. So we'll go now and try the game exactly the same way. And you should hear the hanging note. It will be a high-pitched note that is just stuck. Can you hear the hanging note? This is the hanging note bug. That high-pitched tone that is constantly there. We didn't hear this with the ESS card. So yeah, this is it. Now the question is, can we fix it? And there are multiple solutions, but today we only look at a software solution. There will be a second part of this video where there is going to be a hardware solution. So if you're wondering why I'm not having both solutions in one video, well, I ordered the wrong sockets. These are sockets that are going through the PCB, but this is an SMD chip. So yeah, 
this one will not fit on this sound card and I do not want to solder the replacement chip on here. I want to be able to bring this card back into its original state and that would only work if I place a socket here. And I can already see that it is not going to be easy. There is almost no space. Well, maybe the other sockets are a little bit slimmer. So let's quit out of this game and try to launch the game with a tool called FixMPU. So I have a folder here, MPU. You can find FixMPU on Vogons or somewhere on the internet. I think the best resource is Vogons. You will basically find the thread and there is just in the first post, you will be able to download this tool. So now we have the hanging notebook. So notebook bot is here. We have fix MPU. So let's try fix MPU. And we try hexen. But I need to run it with warp 02. So will we hear a difference when we run hexen wrapped through fix MPU? Okay, the general MIDI bars are moving. That means we are using general MIDI. Greetings, mortal. Are you ready to die? And as you can hear, the hanging notebook is gone. So this is a very simple solution where you don't need anything but a small software tool to eliminate the hanging notebook. That's it. So if you have one of these sound cards that have one of the affected digital signal processors, you can still use it with this workaround. But unfortunately, this is a little bit tedious because, well, first of all, you need to have access to the tool. You always have to run the game wrapped inside fix MPU, and there is no guarantee that the tool will work with every game. I will maybe try Doom and see if I can also get the hanging notebook to show up there. But at least it's a start. So definitely it works in Hexen. So let's try now if we can reproduce this in Doom. Okay, let's uh, quickly run setup to make sure we are using the correct sound card. So music card is set to general MIDI. Let's just verify that the port is correct. And the sound card, Sound Blaster, RQ5, yes. So, let's see if we can hear the hanging note bug. So far, sounds good. Can't hear anything yet. Well, maybe that was one. I don't think this was supposed to be playing. That very high-pitched noise. Hey, can you hear that? I don't think this is normal. That's just a random note. I think this is a different type of hanging note. This is a wrongly played note. Again. You hear these notes, right? Do we have a hanging note? I don't think this note is supposed to be here. It took some time to get to this point. So it's definitely not, uh, you know, every note is going to hang, but this one I don't think is supposed to be here. So yeah, another occasion of the hanging note bug. So let's try to play these two levels one more time, but this time with fix MPU. Okay, so fix MPU is here. Let's try fix MPU and just give it the parameter doom.
but now I don't hear any music. Let's try setup. Let's try sound blaster. Let's see if we get music now. Now it should be emulated by the Sound Blaster 16 OPL3 chip. So yeah, now we have music. What happened to my MPU 401? So yeah, General MIDI definitely works now. Let's try Doom one more time. General MIDI. Let's hope that we hear some general MIDI sounds now. Okay, yes. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. So let's try now fix MPU one more time. Doom. Okay, fix MPU doesn't seem to work. But now I think I also have a problem that it will not work if I just would go ahead and run the regular Doom. Yes, general MIDI. Hmm? Yeah, so now I will not get any output anymore. Um, okay. So fix MPU prevents Doom from playing MIDI music. That's very interesting. I don't know how to fix this. I would have to look for a solution quickly. But you already heard the hanging note bug, how they make themselves noticeable in Doom. So I did a little bit of research. I couldn't find anything. And I think I will keep it at that for now. The hanging note bug is very obvious in Doom and I couldn't fix it with a software solution. So that's great because now we have a real reason to look for a hardware solution. But this will be in the next video. Now, of course, I want to know your experience with the hanging note bug. Let me know what you did to mitigate it. Did you know that there is a software solution? And are you aware of the hardware solution? I haven't tried the hardware solution myself yet, but there are people that report that the hardware fix is indeed working. It will not fix all problems that we have on the sound cards, but it will definitely make it a much more usable card. But before I go a small update, I have already started to build an updated PCB. There are a few things that I want to try with it. There will not be a selection between Raspberry Pi, GPIO, sound generation and the DAC module. It will only be the DAC, so there is no configuration needed. Everything will be basically set to the best possible audio quality that you could get from these components. And with this, we have reached the end of this video. It is a shorter one, but thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Take care and bye-bye.